Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is Tuesday. We have uh, got kind of a mixed feeling here this morning. Corn up just a half, beans down maybe a penny. Uh, we got the wheat market trying to find some kind of strength here, up a few cents, but uh, still looking at some rain moving through Australia. That's what had given us more of that downturn here yesterday, but still trying to sift out what kind of effects are we going to see uh, from this farmer aid package, um, will we will we see a lot of this stuff unfold here today? Will it even help the bean market from where it currently is at, or is it kind of just basically stuck in the mud here at this point? We know we've got some rains moving through uh, areas of the Midwest. That's going to uh, the weather kind of put toward the sideline now that we're getting toward the end of August into September. Uh, we'll see what kind of uh, weather patterns we get here as we get into September as well. But this crop moving along uh, very good. Good to excellent ratings. Uh, a little bit better for corn. Uh, neutral there for beans. Uh, and a little friendly for wheat. But overall, still very good. Uh, looking at good to excellent ratings right now, very hard to do. Those are pretty much done here at this point. Uh, most everyone in the fields looking at what kind of yields you possibly can have. Uh, and we need your help out there. We only have a few more days left to gather as much information as we can uh, from you guys as far as yield checks. So give us a call. We'd, be lo we'd love to uh, take those yield numbers from you. We're going to compile everything that we get here and give us our best guess coming into that next report. And so a uh, great opportunity out there to be involved uh, with a great survey. So uh, get on, uh, get online or give us a call with those findings that you have. That'd be, that'd be great. Um, other than that, not a lot going on in some of these outside markets right now. Um, we did have a very strong move for cattle yesterday. Can we keep that going as well? Uh, talks of this NAFTA agreement, uh, a NAFTA deal being done. The Mexico portion of that seems to be going through, but we still have some problems uh, getting an agreement here with Canada, and that's going to persist as we go through this week and into the weekend. That's not going to get fixed here anytime soon. Um, but the talks with Mexico going very well, that gave a boost to the cattle uh, as well, and, and hopefully going to see some kind of a boost out of the grain markets too. That should be beneficial more so for corn and wheat maybe not as much for beans. Beans will be affected by any kind of talk here out of China, whether or not there's an agreement being made or even just sitting down at the table, it seems, could be supportive for this market at this time, but nothing, uh, nothing out in the media here yet. So we need to pay attention to that as we go through today and actually into this, this weekend, a long weekend, uh, we see a lot of goofy trade happening and a lot of things happening here over long weekends. So prepare for that. But as of right now, very choppy, very uh, kind of a quiet mixed trade uh, at this time. And we'll see what we get generated here as we get more into the day session. But give us a call, 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day today. We'll chat again with you tomorrow. Take care.